Good morning, coaches. So I'm known for my niche nailing ability. And years ago, I was dubbed the niche whisperer. So I've kind of come back to re-embrace that title because over the years, I have come to recognize more and more that this is where the magic happens. You know, when you're aligned with your true niche, you're literally tapped into that part of you that is open and available for inspiration, that part of you that can literally move mountains. So before I go into and share this clarity exercise that I'm, I'm really excited to share with you, and this is some of the stuff that I take my clients through. So I'm going to share it with you here. But before I go into the clarity exercise, what I want to do is, first of all, just define niche. So firstly, what niche is not? Because I see this quite a lot and, and hear this quite a lot from my clients and, and people that come to me. Your niche is not the category that you work in. For example, be it health, business, relationship, mindset, career, um, leadership, you know, all of those kind of categories that's not a niche what I call that is like it's like the vehicle through which you're able to deliver and work your niche but it's also where you're combining your your knowledge and skills to provide your clients with the most value so they represent those sort of headlines those umbrella terms represent the vehicle through which you're able to to work your niche and your as I said your skills and knowledge but your niche is that special something that only you can do in the special way that only you can do it. So it's been called, you know, your secret source, your the element, your element, your one thing. But it's your gift. And most of the time, well, all of the time, because it's your gift, it comes so easily and naturally to you, which, as I said in a previous live stream, this is incidentally why. A lot of coaches struggle to charge because they say, how can I charge for this? It comes so easily to me. So your niche is the essence of how you help your clients get from where they are to where they want to be. So it's the essence, that, that thing that only you can do in the way that you do it. So when I work with my clients, the one thing that I do is I drill down into their before and after story. So just to be clear as well, as a quick caveat, every one of the coaches that I've worked with are absolutely passionate about helping others to solve a problem that they themselves have navigated and overcome. So I'm going to assume that if you're watching this, it's the same for you. You've experienced some struggles in life. You've discovered that it needn't have been that way, that there is an answer. And because of that, you're now passionate about sharing with others what you've what you've what you know, what you've discovered, what you've come to learn. And this is an important point because it means that you're able to communicate with your audience, you're able to communicate with your ideal clients in a way that someone who hasn't ever experienced that particular problem can't and won't ever be able to. So this is called resonance. This is effectively what makes your your messaging so powerful and on point, when, especially when you're in that aligned state. So the point here is that your ideal client is always you from a previous point in your life. Now, the situation may be very different, but the essence of the struggle is the same. So you endured the struggle, you navigated your own way out, and now you have the solution. So coming back to the exercise, the clarity process that I want to share with you. What do I mean by drilling into your before and after story? So this is the essence of it. If you have, if you want to do this, if you have pen and paper, please grab it now. If you're watching on replay, please hit pause, grab a pen and paper. If you want to take yourself through this, if you know that you need to just get a bit more clarity, you want to hone your messaging a little bit more, you need to like really dial into what is my niche, then this is going to help you. There are this exercise is, is five points. There are two questions and then two statements and then a fifth question. So the first question that I want to, you to really kind of get detailed on and, and, and um, dial into is how do you want people to feel when you think about your who you want to serve your ideal clients how do you want them to feel as a result of working with you so not you know I want them to be glad they hired me or I want them to be you know really like me as a coach none of that how as a result of going through your coaching process 
how do you how do you want them to experience their emotions how do you want them to what mindset shift do you want them to experience how do you want people to feel as a result of working with you so that's the first question the second question is what do you want people to be able to do as a result of working with you so they've got the emotions but how, what do you want them to be able to do so it could be something tangible like grow a business or it could be something intangible like feel the courage to speak up for themselves could be something like to set boundaries and say no or become a published author again another tangible one you want to help them become an accomplished courageous speaker public speaker you want them to feel empowered to take more risks so all of those things is tangible and intangible but what do you want them to be able to do as a result of working with you the third piece of the exercise, this is a statement. You're going to complete this sentence. And the sentence is, helping people get these kind of results is so important to me because, and then you fill in the blank. Now, you fill in the blank with what life is like if they never solve this problem. So think about your own before story. What was life like for you before you discovered the problem? Uh, sorry, before you discovered the solution, when you were living with the problem, what was life like for you? How did it feel to be you back then living with this problem? Perhaps a question could be, who were you not being during those times? How was this problem affecting other areas of your life? You know, how was it affecting your health, your relationships, your career progression, your uh, business growth, your income ability, your, you know, any other area of your life, how is living with this problem solving, uh, living with this problem affecting other areas of your life? So that's the first, the, the first element of this, this statement. Complete this statement, helping people get these kind of results is so important to me because, and then you talk about the pain, the pain you were in when you were there so important to you because you don't want people to be in that pain the fourth statement is it's the same same sentence but helping people you're going to complete this sentence helping people get these kind of results is so important to me because and then you fill in the blank with life now life since you solved this problem what does life feel like for you now who are you being now since you've solved that problem? How do you feel? What's changed? How has solving this problem improved and benefited all those other areas of your life? Okay, so you're going to do that twice. Helping people in, get these kind of results is so important to me because first one is the pain. Second part is the gain. Life after you've solved the problem. And then this is the fifth and final question. What's the difference that made the difference? Not how did you overcome it? What's the difference that made the difference? This is the solution. This is the essence of how you help your people get from their A to their B. This is the core of your message. And it also starts to give you that, that, that clarity around your niche. So let me give you a quick example for me. I have no problem at all in describing the crippling fear of visibility as a coach you know trying to grow my business i have no problems really dialing into the pain of of being feeling invisible of that that crippling fear of showing up sleepless nights worrying about where the next bit of money is coming from where the next client is coming from the feelings of shame that it's not working overwhelm insecurity oh my god i can describe all of that with such like poetic detail because I was there I know how it feels but I can also describe exactly how it feels to be me now to feel so you know to have um to let go of all the fear to not have the the limiting beliefs that I used to have to feel prosperous in my business to be serving at the highest level to have incredible clients flowing in and being able to serve at that level so now when I consider what was the difference that made the difference? Well, looking back, it's like so six years ago now, looking back, the difference that made the difference was when I truly nailed my niche and I aligned my business with my passion. That was the game changer. So that's what I want you to start to do with this exercise is look at what 
is the difference that made the difference back then that I now feel so passionate about. Because if, you, if you've seen any of my messaging, it always has that at its core, that nail your niche, align your business with your passion. When you infuse your activities with passion, you thrive. That is the core of my message because that was what I discovered between the pain and the gain. So once you've gone through this process, the next thing is really to, to look at that answer, like the difference that made the difference, that's the solution, the essence of how you take your clients from their A to their B. Where else does that show up in your life? Because you'll notice it is a theme throughout your life. You'll see it emerging as a pattern. So when I look at, okay, alignment, living living with in, in alignment with my passion, using my gift, which is the niche, when I look at all the other struggles throughout my life, all those patches of struggles, they all carried the same theme. The themes are, I wasn't operating in my zone of genius. I was doing something I didn't love. I wasn't passionate about what I was doing. So that they were the essence of my struggle. And, be, and you might think, yeah, but if that's your struggle, who are you to then help people? You know, um, how is that your niche? How is that your gift? Well, I believe, and this has been my experience in doing this with countless coaches, with so many people, your, the universe sends you particular like, struggles to help you hone the gift. And you may not recognize it at the time, but every time it was like maybe, you know, you were ignoring the struggles or just pushing through. But they are opportunities or were opportunities for you to hone your gift. And you'll always attract struggle that is a match to the thing that's trying to come out, the thing you need to learn, the thing that is within you that just you, you, that you're perhaps covering over through limiting belief. So I hope that made sense. Um, but I'd love you to share with me if you do this exercise, what comes up for you, share it in the comments. It's really powerful, but you've got to give yourself the space to go deep. Um, and then final thing I would say as a, as a word of kind of advice around this is when you take yourself through these questions the first time, it's like you open a portal and you get your first layer of answer. So you get that kind of top layer. If you then go away and sleep on it or leave it a few hours or a day or two and you come back to these questions and you sit and answer them again, because you've kind of opened the portal and you've raised that first layer of answers to emerge, what often comes is a deeper level of answer. So don't just do this one and done. Come back to it and just sit with it again. Allow yourself to allow the answers to percolate and they will come up, you'll get a new level of depth of answer. So deeply powerful process. Um, thank you for watching. And as I said, if you do this, please share in the comments what came up for you. I would love to hear from you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And I shall speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.